welcome to Wicked Cool Toys. Um, I'm the co-president, the partner in the company, and uh, this is a dream to start a business. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's you know, one dream is to start a business. Another dream is a business that's actually surviving and doing well. Um, if you can achieve both, it's like a, a, a it's almost like a gift. Um, in our case, we're growing very rapidly, and one of the things that we've done very recently is we've taken on Cabbage Patch Kids and the relaunch of Cabbage Patch Kids globally. Um, right now, it's quite a brand, and we think that we can make it uh, even bigger. We're doing a few things that I'll demonstrate to you today uh, to, to make it bigger. The first thing is you're going to see a little bit of innovation in Cabbage Patch Kids, something that makes you smile and laugh, and when you see it on the shelf, um, it, it hopefully includes you to buy it too. But you know what, for us, we'll even settle for making you happy. The second thing is we're changing the positioning from being primarily a fashion brand, which is it's become, to a more of a nurturing brand, where there's rescue and adoption, and where there is an engagement between a child and, and their toy on, a, on an emotional level. And then third, there's a lot more product than there's been in many years. So you're going to see things that you haven't seen in here in a, in a while. So our Cabbage Patch Babies, I think, have some of the cutest expressions uh, that they've had in a long time. So you can see this little guy with quite the happy face. But our babies all come with a blanket, a binky, and, um, and I think that, uh, you know, our packaging, as you can see, has a crib. It's just very clearly a baby at, uh, at retail. Next, um, we're also going to have accessory items for our babies, like beds and cradles and carriers. Okay, I told you there's going to be a little bit of innovation that'll make PR exciting, make mommy bloggers excited, make mommy media excited. And here we go. This is our Dance With Me performer assortment. All right, so what she does, and this is, it's been 10 years since there's been an electronic item in Cabbage Patch Kids, is that she performs, but she also sings I Feel Good from James Brown. <laughs> so who doesn't love James Brown? I can tell you that the reality of James Brown is that moms, grandmoms, and kids either love the song or get the meaning. Because I feel good is possibly one of the best messages that you could have for a child. I, I mentioned that our kids are going to be uh, more nurturing. As you can see, she's still quite fashionable. There's no doubt about it with her sweater and her beautiful plaid. But also she's carrying a key. And the key is for her adoptable pet best friend. So rescue, adoption, nurturing. When you put the key into the charm, the heart charm, you get an engagement. Lights, sounds, barking, heart beating, and uh, it's just a beautiful thing. So from a commercial, when we're communicating what this is, it's not just about Cabbage Patch Kids and their fashions. It's also about adoption. It's also about rescue, and it's relatable to children. So what we believe is we have an, we, we've, we're making this really relatable to kids again. We're also embracing what adults and, and, uh, and older adults might expect from Cabbage Patch Kids. We're also doing things like bringing the classic kids back. So at Toys R Us and at Hallmark stores, you'll see the classic kids. We have a whole dollar and grocery drug assortment out there so that we can make sure that we hit some of those price points. And finally, and I really, I gotta tell you, this one as a collector, I absolutely love. So, Cabbage Patch Big Kids. These are the oldest Cabbage Patch Kids ever. These are like eight, nine, 10 years old. They're maybe getting their braces for the first time. They're going to school. They're, they're more sophisticated. And they're 18 inches tall, much like you see American Girl in the 18 inch doll segment. But here's the kicker, and here's the part as a collector. I love it. At Toys R Us, we're gonna only do three of these, and they're gonna be Cabbage Patch Kids Days, where we only do a one of a thousand, and perhaps maybe a one of two thousand, over the course of those days. We retire them at the end of the day. So this is Marisol. There'll only be a thousand, maybe there'll be two. It'll be between that, and then that's it. And that's it forever. So Marisol will only come in this outfit and this style. Now, the benefit of that, and let me explain, because maybe one day we'll make the, maybe make the volumes bigger. But the idea is, if you remember back in the day, Cabbage Patch Kids was a phenomenon, right? It was a billion dollar business where people would go to retail, ah! right? And 
somewhere along the lines, we lost that feeling a little bit, and we want it back. And so I think what we should feel about Cabbage Patch Kids is just how special it is, and we're going to have that back very shortly. So that's Cabbage Patch Kids, and we're going to move you guys on to the next.